Mr. Herman Cain insists accusations of sexual harassment against him are false. Here's more of our interview with Mr. Cain. Why do you think this is coming up now? I believe this is coming up now because I'm doing so well in this Republican presidential campaign. Uh, I'm in the top tier. Uh, I'm statistically tied with Mitt Romney. And in some of the polls, I'm actually in first place. I have no idea who's egging this on, uh, who's on this witch hunt. But I am convinced, and my staff and I are convinced, that it is intended to, one, distract us, and it is a distraction. Secondly, uh, a lot of people have a fact, have a problem with the fact that I'm doing so well and I'm so likable. Um, third, since they cannot shoot holes in my proposals, my plans, they're going to try to shoot holes in me, the candidate. So that's the reason that it's coming up now. You know, a lot of guys don't know what sexual harassment is. I mean, they just think they're being, you know, complimenting a woman. Right. Um, are you one of those guys? I mean, like, do you know? I mean, do you sort of know where the line is, where inappropriate in, and appropriate? Uh, are you or are you like one of these over complimenters and just don't get it? I mean, what? And how how do I how do we know? I believe I have a good sense for where you cross the line relative to sexual harassment, but you have to know the the lady, the individual. And if you look at my entire 40-year career, and you look at the fact that I worked for the Department of the Navy, Coca-Cola, the Pillsbury, managed organizations, ran a region for Burger King, ran Godfather's Pizza, and I get to the National Restaurant Association. Up to that point, not one accusation of sexual harassment, which meant that I did a pretty good job of knowing where to draw the line. I thought I had drawn the line and not infringed upon what was obviously perceived as sexual harassment on her part when I made that little gesture about her height, and I can't honestly remember what else was even in the accusation. That's so, you got a roaming eye at all? A roaming eye? Yeah. I enjoy flowers like everybody else. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not at all. Not at all. Well, I wouldn't say not at all. It depends on what you mean and the extent to which you well, mean. Well, I'm trying to, uh, you know, women see sexual harassment sometimes very differently than men. Correct. And you don't recall exactly, and maybe it didn't occur, you know, maybe there was no conversation. I mean, women, uh, look, uh, women can make it up, and they can be telling the truth then. Right. And it's always, and it's always just two people alone. It's sort of hard to tell. And so I'm trying to get a sense of whether or not uh, uh, you're one of those guys that's a little too friendly, a little too cozy when you're, you know, with a coworker. Here's, here's what I can, t can tell you. Okay. I know I never made any innuendos with the the lady that filed the complaint that we were talking about at first. None. Zero. 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 None. And the other woman who's, uh, who, uh, whose name you remember, ever anything, nothing with her? No. I recall that there were times when some of the members of the staff would go out for Friday evening, you know, uh, cocktails or uh, appetizers and this sort of thing. And so typically it could have been a group of us. She was in some of those group activities when we went out together. Never she and I alone or anything like that. The first one that you talked about, she never was in any of those kind of, you know, after hour activities. Are uh, you one of those guys in a group who can say sort of dopey things that uh, women can later, th you know, off when they go into the ladies' room and they talk about the guys, they say, did you hear what uh, Mr. Kane said or what Herman Kane said? Are you like one of those guys who says sort of dopey, inappropriate things in groups? No. The only thing that I could be guilty of saying in a group of men and women is paying a compliment to the woman. For example, if I'm with friends and I'm there.